Hello, this is Aaron with Lower Lawns back for another learning lawn care video. And I wanna sort of comment on something that uh, comes up every year. And um, it's typically on Facebook. Sometimes you'll see it on like Craigslist or something like that if you ever go on there. Um, I use it, I don't use it nearly as much anymore, but I used to see it a lot. Um, and it's people will post uh, that they're looking for reliable and reasonably priced lawn care. Now, I've gotten to the point where I don't even respond to any of those posts because nine times out of 10, when they say reasonably priced, they mean I want to pay not a lot of money for a whole lot of work, <laughs> right? Um, and here's here's the issue with that mentality is, right? like they want two things. They want reliability and they also want really low prices. Now, you, you can't pay someone next to no money and expect them to show up and do an hour and a half worth of mowing and trimming and all this stuff. Uh, it, it's just not realistic on the customer's half. And uh, it's not realistic on the business owners in to promise a price that's kind of low and then go out and, and think that they're gonna like I mean he, like for me personally I, I've done it you know my first two years I was charging way 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 too low uh, you figure that out pretty quickly right because what happens is um, you get up in the morning and you say man I've got six lawns to do today I'm only making $30 $35, maybe 40 on each of these lawns. That's really not a lot of money. Why would I, I don't want to go do that for such little money. Like, like you eventually get, at least I did, you eventually get to this point where you realize, you know what? It's, it's literally not even worth getting out of bed to go cut these lawns. Like, I'm not going to make anything anyway, right? So, the thing about reasonably priced that most customers who put that kind of post out there they don't they don't think about is it's got to be reasonable for the both of us right um, I've got to make enough to let's say cover my bills pay the insurance uh, you gotta make sure paying taxes um, employees we're, we're trying to hire someone but it's been a pain in the butt <laughs> uh, got to pay our employees, uh, got to do all this stuff. And then after all that stuff, I would like to, you know, eventually sometimes go out to like the movies or like hang out and eat some food or, you know, like enjoy like the life, <laughs> you know? So we've got to, we've got to be able to price in a way that we cover all those things. So the reasonably priced, what's reasonable, it needs to be reasonable for the both of us, right? Uh, the guy who charges 30 bucks like I was doing back in 2016, promise you, he ain't gonna be there for very long because he, he, you, you pick up quick. Um, most people are going to get to a point where they're, they're charging too low, they wake up one day and realize it and uh, turn the truck off. I wake up one day and realize it and then they just don't show up, right? Um, and that's where I think a lot of the lawn care industry gets a bad reputation, right? Because, I mean, that's our thing, right? That That's that's the stigma for lawn care. It's like, oh, they never showed up or oh, they never did this or oh, they never did that. Nine times out of 10, I guarantee you it's a money issue. We're not charging enough, right? Um, or the customer's not paying on time. I, I can't tell you how many times I've picked up a customer, they give me the classic story of, oh, well, he just didn't show up one day. I don't know what happened. Well, you know, I figured out what happened. You don't pay your bills, <laughs> and I ain't showing up either. Um, now, I personally send people a, a formal cancellation notice uh, anytime that I'm not going to show up for them. Um and I'll, I'll do a video on that too. Uh, that's, that's a good idea. I should probably do a video on that. Anyway, um, I always send out a formal cancellation notice just because there is that stigma of, oh, well, he just took the money and ran or, oh, he just never showed up one day. 
if I don't get paid, I am not showing up, period. Um, I don't even, you know, I, I will do a month's worth of work, you know, two cuts, four cuts, and if you have not paid me in full at the end of the month, your service is canceled until it's paid. Um, and that's just the way that I do it, you know, period. Um, I know a lot of guys will ask to prepay, but, you know, anyway, anyway, I'm getting off track. Anyway, reasonably priced, it has to be reasonable for both the customer and the, the business owner. Um, now, how can we make it reasonable for them? Well, in my opinion, when I charge people, um, you know, there are a few practices that I personally hate and can't stand just because I think they're immoral. Um, one of those practices is I know so many of you guys, and it's easy to do. I get it. It's so easy to do. You'll walk up to a property. You'll go, hmm, what is that? Three stories? Okay. Probably got, hmm, it's definitely more than three bedrooms. Okay. Big house, nice house, wonderful looking house. It's got to be expensive. You'll look around, it's like, okay, what are they driving? Okay, well, that's that's an Escalade. Oh, that's a Hummer. That's a, you know, BMW. That's a Maserati. Okay. It's got some nice cars. There's money here. Uh, we'll charge you uh, 500 600 a month for our crew to come out and do it. So all you've done is you've sort of profiled and said, okay, these are rich people. Let's charge them more, right? I cannot stand that because it's just it's, it's, it's just, it's for me personally. And I, and I get that it's common business practice, whatever, whether you'll admit it or not. Um, it just feels scummy to even think about people that way. Right? Like you look at the lawn, you, you, you look over the lawn and you say, okay, this is how long it's going to take me. Uh, this is what this lawn is going to require. Um, uh, what about these services? Do you want these services in addition to that service? Uh, and then you price those services. You don't price, you're not supposed to price based on the size of the house or the, you know, type of BMW they've got in the driveway. Like it, it, it it's, it's, it's dishonest. It's inconsistent. Um, just price for the service. Like it, it, it's simple. Um, in my opinion, that's that's where I think reasonably priced would go in the customer's direction, right? Like um, when I look at, you know, I, I mean, I've got customers in, in a trailer park, right? I'll charge them $60 a cut, okay? And they'll pay it, no problem. I've got customers who are in, you know, uh, one guy bought his house for $1.2 million. I charge him 45 a cut, uh, he gets it weekly. But his lawn's a lot smaller. I don't charge based on the size of the house or how nice the fancy the car is. Um, if a job's going to take me 30 minutes in and out, I'm not going to charge you just because you have a giant house. Like, I'm charging you to do the job, period. And that's my philosophy. You know, I don't care... I, I don't care if you've got a Ferrari or a Ford Pinto or like, like the job costs what the job costs, period. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's where reasonable comes in on the cust uh, on how we price it for the customer, right? It's like, you have to actually be reasonable when you price, you can't be outrageous. Um, so yeah, it's got to be reasonable for both of us. And then reliability comes along with that, right? I think if you get that reasonable price and both of you can agree, okay, this is a good relationship. This is a good price. You know, I like what you're charging. Uh, I like what you're paying uh, and what you're asking me to do for that price. Um, this is a good relationship. I'm, I, I will be more willing to show up if I can find a customer who's reasonable in what they're asking and what they're willing to pay, right? Um, and on the flip side too, I'm not gonna lie, um, I uh, I have trouble charging a lot of money. I really do. Um, I get customers on occasion who will try to tip me. I had, I had a lady the other day try to tip me an extra two hundred dollars for something that I was already paying or charging, 
uh, her her bill came out to four twenty, and it was three hours of work. I mean, it wasn't guys, it, it wasn't a major job, but I made enough on the job. I took care of what I needed to take care of. She wanted to tip me two hundred dollars. I said, "That's, I'm sorry, but that's just way too like." There's a certain point, like, I'll take a $10 tip, fine, and show me your appreciation. But at a certain point, like, I don't want to rob you. Like, <laughs> like I I personally, I'm not that hungry. Like, I'm not starving enough that I will just take a $200 tip for nothing. Like, I personally, that that's just my personal philosophy. And yes, it's at my detriment, and maybe it's stupid. Maybe I should have taken the 200 but... I just can't, I can't, you know, like if I'm already making a decent amount on a job, you know, it didn't take that long. The materials were very inexpensive. I mean, it's just, I charge the rate that it takes to get the job done and that's it. Like, it's that simple, you know, um, you know, some people are just, I, I, I can't figure out pricing for the life of me. It's like I said, some people are extremely generous and, and they want to pay extra and they want to do this. And, and then there are people who are just so cheap and they want to pay $25. And if you go $5 up, they're dropping you, period. Um, I've got one customer left from 2016 when I really didn't know how to charge. Um, and again, this is a philosophy of mine, just a, in, in my opinion, treating people right and honoring an agreement. Uh, and again, it's at my own detriment, but this one person pays me $20 per cut. And I'm not going to increase on her because that's, that's our agreement. That's, that's what I do. Even though, again, it's standard business practice and it's at my detriment, like, like for me personally, I don't want to I want to honor the agreement that I gave her and uh, you know um, it doesn't take a ton of time to do it but you know in, in reality I think if I charged it today it would be forty five fifty uh, a cut um, just to give you a little bit of perspective on that but um, I started in 2016 with about 10 of those most of them stopped paying because the lower paying customers, they, the reason they're a lower paying, a lower paying customers because they don't want to spend any money. So what they end up doing is they just don't pay you the $20, the $25 or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, that was my big, like first marketing push was I did, uh, my first 10 customers at $25 a cut and it was all for the sole purpose of getting pictures, getting real work and getting pictures and putting them online as fast as possible. And then it was just like, grow, grow, grow. And it's crazy. Um, I was also push mowing at that time. So think about that. Like now I've got the Ferris and, you know, really good <laughs> commercial grade equipment. Back then I was push mowing and using a horribly cheap weed eater that was trash. But anyway, um, things have changed a lot. Should probably do a video about that anyway um yeah that's all i've got to say about that but reasonably priced and reliable get the reasonably priced part down first make it reasonable for the two of you and reliability will come so there you go uh leave me some thoughts on anything that uh you think i missed or need to go into deeper uh I'd be more than happy to do so but yeah just just me rambling and, and sort of sharing my experiences. I like doing this because it's it's the documentation of the business. But anyway, the video is going on way too long. I'm shocked if you're still watching. But anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, give me some topics and I'll go over it uh, in a similar manner. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep it moving. Hope you guys, uh, I've already said that. Keep it moving.